Hello, it's Miss Julie from Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts, and I am here to do a Valentine's craft with you today. But before we get started, hit the subscribe button, then you'll be able to see all my videos I created for you. Okay, so we're going to make a simple Valentine's craft today, and you only need a couple of items. So this is a good one if you don't have many craft supplies at home, only takes a few items. So the first thing you're going to need is some paint. And um, it's Valentine's Day, so I like to choose pink or red. So I just happen to get my bottle of pink paint, the bright pink. And I'm going to use this for my painting today. We are going to need a piece of paper. You can use any color you want. I just chose a piece of white paper from my printer. Nothing too crazy. And then instead of a paintbrush today, friends, we are going to use this fun little thing, it's called a pom-pom. Pom-pom, it's a craft item. And you can, so, and then what we're gonna use to hold it is a clothespin. Gonna close it, so you attach the pom-pom to the clothespin, and then this is gonna be our paintbrush. Okay, so I thought since it's gonna be Valentine's Day, we should do a heart shape and we can paint it. So. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a heart on my paper. I have a pencil and I also have a marker. Whatever one you want to draw with, I'm going to show you how I draw my um, heart on my paper. So I will do it with my marker so you can see it. But if you're not confident in drawing for hearts, then you can draw it with a pencil. There we go. There is my heart shape. I think it looks great. And then we'll start painting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my paint and I am going to um, put a little bit over here to the side. You're not going to leave a lot of paint, friend. You're not going to leave a lot of paint. So I'm going to open my paint up. And put a little bit down over here. And the more paint you use, the longer it'll take to dry, friends. So I have my pom pom on my, on my, and I dipped it in the paint. And then I'm just gonna, actually, first I'm gonna outline it, which means follow the lines. Gonna follow the lines, kind of like you're tracing, tracing the heart. Have you ever done this before? You painted with other items? It's fun. So I see there's no right or wrong way to do this project. You could trace it like I am doing or you can just go random and just go put polka dots all over. Each of our hearts is going to look different because we are all doing it differently. Now you can see me. So as you can see, just was going around. Now I'm just gonna fill in the middle. It looks really cool, the pattern show you again i can see it and you do not need a lot of paint okay i'm just doing little gaps for fun and you can use more than one color if you want to make your heart different colors like blue and pink, red and white, purple and green, whatever color you like and you have at your house will be beautiful. I just decided to use a nice pink for Valentine's Day. And look at that, I'm almost done with my whole heart already and I didn't need to refill my paint. So the amount of paint I put on my 
little spot over here was just enough to cover my heart. Okay. Look at that, it looks awesome. Okay, I'm gonna just do it one more time over here. Okay. Everybody hold theirs up and show me how yours looks. Okay. Now I'm just gonna give you another suggestion. Once your heart dries and you wanna, um, you can cut it out. You could also write a message on the front of it. You can write your name. You can write who you're going to give it to. You could decorate it with stickers or other scraps of paper, make it extra fancy. But you could also add more paint to it. So once the first color is dry, you can go on to your second color of paint. That would look beautiful. Okay, so that was our simple pom pom painting today. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos of crafts and stories from Miss Julie's virtual preschool and crafts. Thank you so much.